Excellent work, Lady Mika. You've been a boon to us all. Master Benkei. Even so, we all have our limits. No one here expects service to come at the cost of well-being. Take a break, girl. I can shoulder this burden for a while. Thank you, but I'm fine. But... Really, there's nothing to worry about. Please, let me continue. Well, well, there you are. As you can see, our nation has come together to rebuild. By the efforts of all, our work is proceeding apace. That being said, I worry about poor Mika. The sand lays thick on her skin, and she scarcely rests. From morning to night, she toils. And the look on her face... It does not tell of a happy heart. It pains me to see it. Although only a small gesture, I would present her with a new kimono to block the sun and sand. However, every weaver in Ku is preoccupied at present. How far must I journey to find one? Taylor sews in silence. Her garments speak for us. That's a load of crock. Work should be done with a smile. Doesn't matter what it is. Or do you want your customers fleeing in terror? Ah! Welcome! Welcome! She works until her clothes are threadbare? All in service to the city? Hmm. This Mika sounds just like Agni. Oh. Wait here. I'm helping too, Papa. And we're finished. A new kimono, just for Mika. She can bring any garments here and I'll fix them, no matter how frail. But tell her that our bodies aren't easily fixed. She must take care of herself. I'll bring it to her right away. Our work doesn't end until the customer has their product. Besides, it'll give me a chance to meet this Mika. Can we find her? Mind showing me the way? Your delivery is here! Garud Garments at your service! 
Are you Mika? Huh? Y yes, I am. Hmm. Your clothes really are being held together by a thread. We made this specially for you. Please wear it in good health. Oh, I... I can't. Such a lovely kimono. Oh, look at this. Lady Mika, at least try it on. Surely it was no simple matter to have this sewn. Yes, yes, go on. There's no need to be shy. I... Thank you, everyone. This is more than I could have imagined. You have my utmost gratitude. You must be hungry after traveling so far. It's not much of a payment, but I can make rice balls for you. Uh, uh, rice balls? This is delicious! How have I lived so long without these? I could eat dozens! Please, have as many as you want. Your cooking could give even Agnes a run for its money. If I were looking for a wife, I'd want her to be just like you. A wife? <laughs> it's been a long time since I've had such a lively meal. I used to have a brother, but he died in the war. I owe everything to him. This house, this comfortable life. He gave so much to me, but I never had a chance to repay him. I thought if I couldn't do that, I'd repay my debt some other way. So I helped rebuild. Seems all I've done is cause others to worry. Mika? I'm sorry. I've kept this bottled up for so long. You shouldn't keep your troubles to yourself. Others are more than willing to share them. Share? Do... Do you have troubles too, Paula? Of course. When my sister left on her journey, it was me who had to do all the cooking. But I only knew how to make one thing. For three days and nights, all Papa and I ate was raspberry pie. <sighs> Those were tough times. Even my dreams were full of raspberries. <laughs> That must have been hard for you. If you need to share your troubles with someone, then I'll gladly listen. Mm, you asked for it. I've got enough stories to fill a book. Well... <laughs> huh. 
I'll take Oh, you found them. Thank you. You must let me do something to thank you. Now, to give this to Paula. Probably getting lonely. Paula, please take this. Huh? What is it? It's a reunion earring. If we both wear one, that means we're certain to meet again. See? I have one too. My brother gave them to me when I was little, and I've always treasured them. He told me to save them for someone special. Are... are you sure? You don't want to save them for someone... more special? I'm sure. If I can share my troubles with you, I can share this, too. My brother always said... Keep your head up. You deserve to watch the heavens. But I didn't even realize that I had been looking down for so long. That I lost sight of the people who were looking after me. It was thanks to you that I remembered to keep my head held high. Thank you, Mika. Let's both keep our heads up. You're not alone. You should come visit sometime. As my wife, if you like. <laughs> oh, Paula. Well then, I should be off. Till we meet again, Mika. Of course, I can't wait. Come, my...